The I-10 twin span bridge connecting New Orleans to Slidell was totally devastated during Hurricane Katrina. The surge came and lifted the bridge panels up and just set them down in the water. It looked like uh, a line of dominoes that had just fallen. My direct boss, uh, Gil Gotro, called me and told me to meet him at the Hammond Airport, and I live in Punch Tula, uh, to take a ride up to look at the twin spans. At that point, we knew the twin spans were damaged. We had just about three months ago went and visited uh, Florida with their damage during Ivan with the with the bridge doing the same exact thing. So we kind of knew what to expect to see, what we probably was going to see. When then we went up and we surveyed the area, plus we, I ended up taking a video with my camcorder I brought with me uh, to the twin spans, and that's what they actually used to at, right, right at first to determine how we're going to do the repair, which ones we're going to move to what side, and how much damage there actually was. We knew it was going to be a historic effort from our part because we've never had a bridge structure this big, this long, damaged th to this amount. First mission was to get the bridge back up and running so we could have the uh, connectivity restored back between New Orleans and the uh, North Shore. Our DOTD employees went to work right away and came up with a method along with a contractor to put in some acro panels and to get one of the bridges in shape so that travelers could travel over the bridge. They did the design in-house and they actually got that one, two lanes of traffic open in 45 days after Hurricane Katrina struck. The existing bridge had issues because of the storm surge uh, and made the spans buoyant and the spans were not physically tied down to the substructure. We knew we had to do something different which means we had to analyze uh, the hydraulics and the storm surge for future events, which told us that the new bridge had to be elevated over 20 feet higher than the existing bridge. We, we went on uh, as far as designing the structure at a higher elevation, and then once it tied into the uh, roadway portions on each side, we had to anchor the spans. And we let the project in two different phases, and the lower level trestle bridge, which is about four and a half to five miles long, uh, was let in the middle of 2006. Uh, the high level portion of the bridge for the navigational span was a separate project and that was let towards the end of 2006. It took about uh, six years to complete both phases so they were all complete around the uh, beginning of 2012. The twin span used to be four lanes, it's now six lanes, it's, so it's wider, it's higher. And actually, the bridge was just renamed the Frank Davis Bridge. And what an incredible bridge it is, connecting New Orleans to Slidell. We knew after Hurricane Katrina that it was so important to get that vital corridor back up and running for the recovery efforts and for the economy of New Orleans.